hello guys welcome to my channel so in this video I will show you how to install docker uh, on Windows 10 uh, the prerequisite is uh, you need to have Windows 10 updated to build 19041 or higher uh, that is basically a uh, preview version and uh, as a first step uh, you need to enable uh, Windows subsystem for Linux uh, that you can do uh, by running the PowerShell uh, console with administry right and use this uh, script or the command line to install and enable uh, WSL and the next step is um, enable virtual machine platform I can do uh, the same thing with this uh, particular script for enabling it as well Just copy and uh, paste once both of the things are done then we have to do a mandatory restart to get the changes in effect the next step is to install docker uh, in the system so just use the link hub.docker.com and uh, you would probably see two uh, channels if you come down yeah one is stable channel and one is add channel and uh, uh, preferably I'll be going with uh, the stable channel because it's quite stable compared to compared to the edge channel which is having a lot of uh, minor bugs and nightly builds Okay, once it is installed then we have to set WSL uh, version 2 as the default version uh, through a partial snippet okay just copy it and paste in the yep so that's done and the next step is to install Linux distro distribution from the Microsoft Store so just go there and you would see a search bar search Linux there so you would see a lot of Linux distributions in the search results so you can have Ubuntu, you have Kali you can have uh, Debian, UC Linux so for, for my case I have used Debian um, as the Linux distribution just install it and once you install it uh, you can just log in to that Linux distribution with the di uh, respective commands and I'm just doing a ls command on the root level and so you can see the root Linux root system folders has been created and the next step is to enable the WSL integration in the docker so you have to go to the docker console and uh, settings you see a WSL, WSL integration you can see a DBN toggle box just toggle it apply and restart and yeah I'm running a docker command sir we can just try it out with the docker run hello command and yes you can see it has been executed